Second Peter chapter 1 Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those through the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ have received a faith as precious as ours. Grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, making one's calling and election sure. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Through these He has given us His very great and precious promise, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love for if you possess these qualities in increasing measure they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our lord jesus christ but if anyone does not have them he is nearsighted and blind and has forgotten that he has been cleansed from his past sins therefore my brothers be all the more eager to make your calling and election sure for if you do these things you will never fail and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our lord and savior jesus christ prophecy of scripture so i always remind you of these things even though you know them and are firmly established in the truth you now have i think it is right to refresh your memory as long as i live in the tent of this body because I know that I will soon put it aside as our Lord Jesus Christ has made clear to me and I will make every effort to see that after my departure you will always be able to remember these things we do not follow cleverly invented stories when we told you about the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty for he received honor and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory saying this is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven, and we were with him on the sacred mountain. And we have the word of the prophets made more certain, and you will do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophets only interpretation. For prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit.